Um, I, th I think um, I, I knew uh, Grant and uh, some of the guys on this um, race weren't going to let it be slow. So I was just ready to compete and just ride along. <laughs> and walk me through that last hundred with Grant. What it was like for you? Yeah, man, it was. It was. We're we're we're, uh, we're squeezing that last four laps. And I was just trying to attach myself and get to the finish line. Um, I wanted to win. Grant, Grant had a strong kick, and but we we, get, we put on a great show, and um, we're gonna go at it again in a couple of weeks. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. If Grant hadn't done that, do you think you would have been the one making the move with like 1,200 a mile to go? Yeah. yeah. I, I think one of us were, was gonna do it, and I'm grateful that he did it, and I can just latch on and yeah make the team yeah what does the rest of the summer look like will you race between now and paris um i didn't even plan for that to be honest um my goal was to make this team and we're gonna figure out the rest when we get to when we cross that finish line yeah do you think that could help you though going into a global championship like getting some more experience racing the very best oh for sure yeah, yeah i mean making it to the global stage is the best experience and that's the medals that matter the most so yeah. um being there and competing and having the right mindset is going to be all that it takes to um come out with a medal. Yeah, what did you learn? It would his early surgery. Kind of, yeah. Um, I knew he was going to do something, but I just didn't know it was going to be that early and that fast. But um, I think it's like it made some people uncomfortable. And yeah, it, it just messed up with their game plan. So, I, But I was confident and calm and just knew it was going to be fine. Yeah. He said he 